Hi guys, this is just moving on from the film canisters. I've decided to upgrade to the ice tray Mark II. And what I've done there is just put in 10 cent pieces, copper 10 cent pieces, zinc galvanized iron. I've got tiny little uh, neodymium magnets there to act as a link, a bridge there to, instead of a wire. I don't like using wires much. Okay, so it goes all the way around, comes back to here. Copper positive and zinc negative. And I'm getting about 12 volts out of this baby. You can see there, oh, it's up to 14 volts now. And that's just from putting them in series, salt water, followed on top by equal parts spirit of salt and vinegar. Watered down, of course, both of those before they're mixed. And that's nothing surprising to me. I expected to get about 12 volts out of that. I'm getting 14. But what really I was interested in was raising the amperage. And that's done through adding the spirit of salt and the vinegar, it seems. And now, where I was pushing about 0.2 of a milliamp, now I'm getting two and a half, or let's say two. It slowly drops there, you can see it dropping down. Now, that is what I was after. I just wanted to raise that milliamps, because the amps are where all the work's done. That's where the current is, and you can see the result there is pretty impressive. That's a lead light running off earth and a solution um, and it's a natural solution so look at that not bad at all you could make them in series now again you remember the last video that I showed you with the little mini cell which I've got here now this was a little mini cell I'm, I used made of uh, just straws cut off at the end with bits of tissue in it and vinegar also, I've got copper and, and uh, zinc in there as well. And this little baby there was punching out about um, 6 or 7 volts or whatever. And there's no reason that I have to have such large cells here. I, I'm going to test going down with a smaller cell and see if I can't produce the same amount of power in a smaller volume of dirt. I showed you earlier in a video that the volume of dirt doesn't matter. I still get the same amount of volts out of it.